Welcome to today's video. In this lesson, we're going to look at converting numbers in base 5 into base 8. So basically, when you're converting numbers in base 5 into base 2, not really base 8, sorry, we're going to convert numbers in base 5 into base 2. So when you're converting numbers in base 5 into base 2, uh, what you need to do first, you need to convert the number given in base 5 into base 10. Then thereafter, the answer you get, you convert it into base 2. Keep watching as I'm going to show you how to convert numbers in base uh, 5 into base 2. Okay, so like I said earlier on, on the board we have got a question which is convert 4, 3, 1, 2, base 5 into base 2. So what we're going to do, first we're going to convert this number into base 10. So we're going to say <coughs> 4, 3, 1, 2. So what is the place value of this number? We are saying is ones. Then what's the place value of this number in this figure? It's fives. What is the place value of three in this figure? It's twenty-fives. What is the place value of four in this figure? We are saying it's one hundred twenty-fives. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this number, okay? Then now, let's multiply this number by its place value. So, we're going to multiply 4 by 125. So, we're saying, i open the brackets, 4 by 125. Then I'll close the bracket. Then, plus 3 by, open brackets, then I'll say 3 by, 25 then plus 1 by 5 plus 2 by 1 okay so I'm going to say this one will give us 500 4 by 125 will give us 500 then this one plus, then it will be 75. Then plus this one will give us 5. Then plus this one will give us 2. Okay. Then we are going to say, let's find the, the sum of these products. Then we are saying 500 plus 75, that will give us 575. Plus 5, 580 plus this one will give us 580. Two. Okay, so we are saying 4, 3, 1, 2, base 5 is 582 in base 10. Now let's convert this number into base 2. Okay, so we have 582. Now to convert this number, I'm going to use the place value method. Okay, so let me use the place value method. Then I'll write the place values here. Okay, I'm sure. No, no. As well as place value method, we also get a lot of space. Let me use the. I'm looking at the space my body is too small for. So I'll use the. The. The remainder method, but. I really, I really need to mind my the sizes of my numbers, the font I should really mind because okay, remainder here. Okay, so how many times can uh, two going to 582 to go 291 remainder zero? Okay. How many times can two, and two go into 291? So we are saying it will go 145, remainder 1, okay, 2. Then how many times can, can 2 go into 145? We are saying to go. 72 remainder 1 yeah 72 remainder 1 
then how many times can 2 go into 72? We are saying 36, remainder 0. Into 36, 2 can go how many times? 18, remainder 0. Then into 18, it will go 9 times, remainder 0. Okay, into 9, it will go 4 times, 2 will go, 2 will go 4 times, remainder 1. Into 4, it will go 2 times, remainder 0. Into 2, it will go 1, remainder 0. Into 1, it will go, 2 into 1, it will go 0, remainder 1. Okay, so that is, now we have converted uh, this number into base 2. Okay, then let's see. So, those of lack of space, I'll, I'll just shift, get that answer, and I'll write it um, here. So, what you need to be, to be mindful is, you write the answers from, from the remainder, starting from the last remainder up to the first remainder. So, I'm going to say, four, four, 3, 1, 2, base 5 is equal to, so let's start getting the answers there, we are saying 1, then double 0 there, we are going upwards, remember we are going upwards, so we are going to pick 1 there, then these 3 zeros, so triple 0, then double 1s, then 0 in base 2, so what we are saying, we are saying, 4, 3, 1, 2, base 5 is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, base 2. Alright, so, so this is how you convert numbers in base 5 into base 2. Thank you so much for watching.